preventing chaos makes space for more happiness. And it's oh. the first thing mm -hmm. towards more happiness. The podcast. What's hot, What's in, hot the in the pot? It's your boy Chris. And it's Moni. We're gonna be talking about some 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 deeper some deeper questions because we don't really talk a lot. We talk about a lot of head ass shit on this uh, <laughs> podcast. So we want to talk something a little more to pick your brain and something some food for thought, some stuff for you to think about. Oh, that should be the title. Food for thought. Food for thought. Ooh. 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 Ideas. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So um one of the first questions I wanted to like bring up. Well not a question, but it's more of a, a, a topic. And I found out that there's like there's some people in within the branch of psychology um that are in short they're pretty much studying and trying to figure out ways to create a utopian society based off of conditioning people from birth and controlling for things like happiness and love and everything so if like humanistic things things phenomena that make humans like unique as emotionally intelligent creatures like they want to control for all that to create a textbook based perfect um society so to be able to control for all that's kind of kind of crazy um and to even try to do that of course it never really gets any like uh never really gets a lot of um support because <laughs> it's like yeah like, morally it doesn't make any fucking sense and like, it's like oh you psycho like what the fuck a utopia that's controlled by the government i feel like that's kind of that's not a f life of freedom i feel like that's just people living instead of being alive it really i really was thinking at like 10 in the fucking morning about like some deep <laughs> shit so i was thinking i was like the whole point of a utopian society is to control happiness and prevent chaos literally because like they would control for everything everything and they would really try to like make sure nothing bad happens to create a perfectly like ah oh god it's poorly worded but you know what i mean right yeah so like i thought about it and i'm like promoting happiness or preventing chaos is like two sides of the same coin technically it's kind of like half glass like your glass half full half, half empty but it's like different like i don't know yeah that's what that's what i was thinking like what if happiness was preventing chaos is it though but, is it though? but then i i also thought about like what is exactly happiness if we don't have a clear definition of that uh-huh it's pretty hard to tell well we don't know what we well we, we we're not really defining chaos as a whole either so i That's think just true. speaking like in like a general term um mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's better. Okay, so let's say like you were to apply like this philosophy of like trying mm -hmm. to create like the perfect self, which is like you know mm -hmm. real unrealistic, but hypothetically, yeah. Are, That's what would that mean you're focusing more on? Would that would would you would you be putting a focus more on promoting happiness from preventing chaos? And if so, and in that process, let's say that you're you're applying that process to your life right now. What would you say you're doing more right now in your life? Would you say you're preventing chaos in your life right now, or promoting happiness in your life right now? Oh damn. The way you worded it actually made it clear. I think I have an answer for, for me personally. Okay. Like when I live my life, um, I don't really necessarily like focus on all the chaos happening and like mm -hmm. try to just prevent it. I kind of just go with the flow. If the chaos happens, I find a way to deal with it, but also like in a way that's, that's it's kind of just going, going with the flow and being happy about my decisions. I'm not really trying to like prevent it. Um, like a visualization for me is like preventing chaos. It's trying to like balance yeah, uh, yeah. something while being happy is just like kind of just leaving it on the ground and just kind of just going with it. I don't know if that was a good <laughs> No, no, no. I, <laughs> I, think, I think I got you. I think I got you. Yeah. That was hard to explain um well uh, allow me to play devil's advocate here um okay. i would say like okay let's just say like our society right we're preventing mm -hmm. chaos within our society is like rules and constructs are really just to prevent chaos like we don't really give a shit about promoting happiness too much yeah 
but i think about like why that is for one it's easier to control for because happiness is a lot more subjective than chaos to the general population some people yeah. may find chaotic things things that are th- things that ensue chaos is like oh that's like their happiness which is like you know kind of odd but you know it's it's there as a as an outlier rule but taking at the outlier um promoting happiness would be more like i feel like it's changing preventative. the perspective yeah it helps you perceive your chaos in a better way yeah exactly oh yeah that one that's that's a good way to word it yeah but preventing chaos would be like leaving more room for happiness because you're taking a bigger uh, leaving more room for happiness promoting no not promoting happiness it's like giving space for happiness giving letting giving space for happiness to to grow Mm -hmm. By preventing the chaos in your life i see that um but i guess that might not be a necessarily um healthy thing to do because you're not necessarily well i mean that could work too i feel like that that low this low-key just sounds like optimism versus pessimism kind of but uh okay like on an individual level spreading happiness is easy but mm-hmm. not everyone spreads happiness you know they yeah, actually and not, and not everyone's happiness. receptive to it also exactly so like in a bigger scale if we're talking about like building a, like a whole utopia yeah um i feel like controlling chaos is like the better choice because not everyone's gonna be all happy <laughs> yeah someone's gonna cause chaos and mm-hmm. if you're just promoting happiness and not preventing chaos people are going to be miserable but still trying to be happy Mm -hmm. but if you prevent chaos i think yeah you're making space for happiness yeah well that's like that's the extreme so what you like i guess that's the extreme of like saying you're doing one over the other but like doing both i guess is like what normal what everyone does right (laughs) yeah i think everyone lives their life that way by doing both but i think in times of in times where there's a lot of more chaos in your life, I think you you end up being more focused on preventing the chaos first as a priority, because it's just more, because it's cause, because it's harder for you to be happy when there's a lot of more chaos. So you focus on dealing with the chaos first, and then give room for the happiness, and then mm. you can balance it out with the two. Oh, there, that makes so much sense. <laughs> that does. Oh, hey, hey. with that, with that. <laughs> We just figured it out right now. Oh my god, we 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 cracked the code. We cracked the code. A great a great example would be finals. You're preventing the chaos. Preventing the chaos after you can be happy. You know. Yeah. So does that mean? Let, okay. Okay. Obviously, one's not technically better than the other, but it kind of sounds like chaos is preventing the chaos. Because it seems like the first step. No. Yeah, I think it's mandatory to actually spread happiness. Because yeah. I don't think you can be happy with chaos going all around. You feel mm-hmm. me? And I feel like it's always bound to happen to people. So if you neglect that first step of preventing the chaos, promoting happiness, you're just making it. It's almost like rather than like, let's say like the chaos is here, right? And then mm-hmm. you don't really deal with it. You just promote the happiness to go over it. <clears throat> this is like a really weird analogy, but let's just say it's like that, right? There's still a lot here but you're just promoting happiness more it's technically like net positive right yeah but if you prevent the chaos the happiness is going to hit that much harder when you when you promote it so i guess preventing chaos seems more important so i guess when we put it that way i guess it makes more sense to when you build a society for people to be happy around to prevent chaos more that's probably why they want to condition people to be happy and act morally and to get rid of as much chaos as possible Mm -hmm. they're literally like conditioning people they want to condition people from birth which seems like crazy to me like i don't know how i would like that's so like so i think i think the way they worded it sounds so like dictatorship it does it really does literally they're like oh yeah psychologists would be like (laughs) like at the top like and i'm like well that's literally wait there's 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 a there's a hierarchy but then i guess you would train you would condition all the people to be okay with it and not to like, and this is assuming that the psychologist will be completely fair and like, you know, not abuse their power, which is. See, if we change the wording of this whole thing, right? 
-hmm. if they say like we're gonna promote more happiness to children at a younger age Mm -hmm. for them to grow up Mm -hmm. as a good citizen you know Mm -hmm. if they worded it like that kind of sounds nicer Mm -hmm. but it still seems like (laughs) you're forcing down like food down your throat or something yeah but do you think it would be better though to you... start with the children i mean yeah i mean if we're okay let's assume that <laughs> let's assume that our society initial goal because like what is even our goal with like like is that is that even like an outspoken goal like oh we're trying to make uh, this like our society like a really a like a, a great place society. for people not like a utopian but let's just say like 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 a more realistic thing like oh we want people to be like content here do that do, do, do they actually think that not really nah <laughs> so like i think that's that is a testament to show like how people like aren't really uh like it's supposed to like you said like with kids like um they kind of just leave it up to everyone else mm-hmm. which is like that's not like a that's like a normal thing because like your family is supposed to like be the ones to teach you so they're supposed to be the ones to teach you how to prevent the chaos in your life and promote the happiness in your life because at a young age you don't really know how to do that right you you absorb what you learn from the exactly they grow up with so um and if i'm going to use like a and if we want to use like school for example like the school system mm-hmm. um the school system teaches them teachers typically try to teach kids basic moral skills right so uh I think so. I think, but then like then you got like problem kids because they're they've already established their morals like yeah like at from home, their, from from, yeah. their, from their home life. So then that's where conflicting morals happen, and then you already have chaos at like elementary school because like there's already like like Troublesome yeah there's already kids. issues from there. So yeah, I don't know. It's so. I feel like it's unavoidable. So like yeah. even so even thinking about that's why like even thinking about the like the possibility of like actually having utopia in our world would be like possibly impossible. Yeah, I just don't see it as possible. But it's interesting to think about. I think um yeah. like I feel like like I don't know what I would do. Like 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 what, like, like, like who would we be? Wouldn't we all just be like <laughs> robotic cookie cookie cutter people? Exactly. That like how I'm thinking of it is like okay let's let's say there's this a city right where like yeah. no crime no lying everyone tells the truth everyone's like it's gonna be cool and all but i feel like everyone's gonna be sm- fake smiling and like yeah fake it's... in front of everybody you know like that's mm-hmm. and that's kind of like a very it's not a place i would want to be in personally because mm-hmm. like i like the real the real how like humans act yeah I like them being authentic and real to me so that's yeah. kind of like a boring place to be in honestly and a fake place to be in yeah isn't that interesting like okay so i completely agree with you right but and i feel like a lot of people would agree with that right but isn't it kind of interesting how we actually kind of like the chaos <laughs> over <laughs> over like complete like happiness see that's why what isn't if cr- chaos yeah. Oh, some chaos. Actually, there's a lot of like different types of chaos is like people sometimes enjoy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. But why? Why do? Why are we? Why? Why do we feel better when there's chaos around rather than like complete happiness? Because I feel the same way. So I went. So this one time, I forgot the place. Oh, um, uh, dos pueblos. Um, it's like a, it's a place. I think it's in like Soca. Mm-hmm. I think <laughs> uh, near Santa Barbara. <laughs> So hmm. I, I went to that city when I was so I was on the cross country team and then we we had a race down there and we'd spend overnight because it was like kind of far so we had to take a big bus ride but mm-hmm. at night they let us like walk around the town and what? it's like and there was like this specific town we were at it was like super nice like I don't know what area we were in but it was mm-hmm. extremely nice and like um it okay this is not like a people thing but like the atmosphere just felt very like too nice it felt too nice like mm. too nice to where it was like eerie um that's actually scarier <laughs> that is scary like the fact that it's everything's so nice i'm like something's not right here you know but it's so weird how we find like 
things that are like com- supposed like perceived to be completely happy to be like creepy yeah so i think just, like, people it's nowadays, not realistic i don't know i don't know maybe yeah people nowadays probably like they probably feel more comfortable with some type of chaos because they know how the humans act and like mm-hmm. without any type of chaos it seems sketchy you know like mm-hmm. people feel unsafe oh <sighs> mm. we're all just mm-hmm. secretly masochist it's like get out yeah. you know <laughs> yeah imagine being like i don't know that's 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 weird you know it's crazy too like i feel like <laughs> there there are actually i feel like it's not like everyone would think that way though i think there are some people that might be like oh yeah what's wrong with that like a place is just completely happy completely nice like what's wrong with that i don't know i just can't <laughs> psychopaths psychopaths <laughs> they're like oh wow this is like so nice. either that or like they've just had no like you know i can't Problems. even you know i can no I, you know I, yeah i was gonna say that but i can't even say that because like who doesn't have i don't know maybe they're you know? just maybe they're just actually okay with it but like i don't i'm trying to think about like why we're actually not okay with it no, it's, that's weird it's it's weird kind of ironic how we how we, we research for it but like at the same time like i don't know it's also like creepy to us mm. maybe that's well, also um, just to see people on chaos. The fact that we were like talking about cookie cutter people, it's like, it's like <laughs> the chaos within everyone's own lives builds their character, which makes everyone different. Okay, let's say like you know the you know Animal Crossing. Yes, Animal Crossing is kind of like a utopia, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you specifically the newest game of Animal Crossing. You're on an island, and you have like. Um, like these villagers or these animals that like live with you, and then like, um, you're just like yeah, you're just like living a super happy life and you share everything, but it's also like socialism, too. So I'm like, I feel like is it is are you are all utopias? Can all utopias be classified as like socialist or no? Can you define socialism <laughs> real quick? Pretty much. Okay, so I, I this is like a very rough definition because I'm not entirely knowledgeable on the concept of socialism. But from what I understand, it's like, um, it's pretty much like everyone's shares. Everyone's the same. Mm, does like any position of job not matter depending on like your salary? Yeah, okay yeah that's too deep i don't know <laughs> oh, okay, okay, <laughs> From, okay. I, just, I just i just understand the basic like the basic idea mm. behind it i believe it's kind okay. of just yeah we could be i could I, be completely wrong but then um, i even yeah. if we do build a utopia like that i don't think it's going to progress at all because for us yeah. humans progression means competing against each other all the time that's doesn't we, that cause chaos that's why like if <laughs> if it's a utopian society it's not going to progress so like okay okay let's say you were trying to build a utopian society mm-hmm. how would you let's say you're okay let's say you're you're on animal crossing right and you're the main uh-huh. you're the main person that's running that island mm-hmm. and then you want to set up your set up your society in a certain way how would you that's a very broad thing because a lot of things go into is... it but how would you how would you set it up like what would you do like that's pretty hard because like having rules at all like having laws isn't that like not following the utopian Mm -hmm. well that's why you see people like okay so i don't know how many like utopian dystopian like movies or stories you like listen like heard or watched but um typically there's always like a force that's on the upper Mm -hmm. that like whenever people are breaking the the rules that are being created they just like snatch them and take them away to not taint the uh, <laughs> to not cheat the society yeah, that they're creating yeah so really there is chaos but it's actually not exactly like, it's like underground secret. chaos yeah so utopias typically are just secretly um are just like there's secret chaos underground so they're all you fake see it. it's all they're fake, all fake. Love. <laughs> no such thing as a utopia. Love. <laughs> unless you truly condition everyone to be which is like well, pretty exactly much which is like but, pretty impossible you know but that's like a that's what people are trying to do i don't know i feel like for me if i were to make a utopia if, I would make everyone like farmers. <laughs> well, I feel like we would just all live on a farm, like a big farm, and just share and just. Oh yeah. Okay. 
So if you do build a utopian society, I feel like、mm -hmm. it has to be small because the more people, the more yeah. Chaos let's say、bring. okay. Let's say you're on a big island. You got like a hundred people. So I would actually designate people to do like certain jobs, and we all live of live live off of what they do. So like one person does the farming. One person like builds the houses and all that. Someone gets water, and we all just share it like a family. I feel like that would be the、mm. best utopia if everyone treats each other like family. You know, I mean, not like literal blood family, because yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's say you were this psychologist that were like trying to condition people. You would have to condition people to one be okay with the role that they're given. Right、mm. for them to actually like and enjoy the role and enjoy the work they do, to be completely devoted to the bettering of their society. And then I said two, but I'm holding up a three. What? I, <laughs> I can't two. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think we have for a utopian. Like, I don't, I don't agree with it, but、mm. to make a utopia, I feel like you'd have to. Condition them right off the bat,、mm -hmm. almost like a dictatorship where our society has to improve. Everyone, everyone around you, our loved、mm -hmm. ones,、um, and you do want to serve. You want to serve your community well to be of use. You know, so you kind of have to condition all of them like that. You know how like you know like people. Um, I'm not saying it's wrong, but like people have a sense of、um, priority to serve their country and all that.、Mm -hmm. So it, we kind of have to condition them in that sense too. Like you have to serve the community,、mm -hmm. and like in a way where they're gonna be happy for it, which is、yeah. easier said than done. Yeah,、so、like I don't know that, how. Like, that's literally like their whole like the like the psychologists that are studying this. Like, it's literally、exactly. like the whole thing. That they're trying to figure out, which is pretty difficult. Yeah, but yeah. I hope they actually. I hope they never figure it out. But <laughs>、um, yeah, I mean, by the time they actually figure it out, I probably won't. We、we'll、probably won't be alive. But you know, you never know that. What if they find like a immortal? Well, then. Well, here's the、gene. thing. They couldn't. They couldn't apply it. They would have to apply it from a small scale, and then like, you would have to. I don't know. This is not realistic. Anyway, because、um, <laughs> realistically, if they actually try to do it. Like there's like there are so many people in the world you have to reform,、mm -hmm. so seven billion, almost. Unless、eight. they just do, they start with an island and then like conquer、mm -hmm. all the fucking nations in the world, and then <laughs> just kill off all the people that are tainted, and then <laughs> kill off or detain all the people that are tainted, quote unquote tainted, or people that weren't conditioned, and then start like a society civilization from scratch. I don't think. Oh, that's an can... evil villain shit, man. That's gonna be hard since you're starting from scratch. Literally, like, like a level one versus level one hundred, you know? Yeah, like you got the whole world to reform. That's crazy. That's gonna be hard. Yeah. Um. It's also something I just thought about too. We would have to, um, control for love and reproduction,、Ooh. or you would have to like. Have people reproduce for the sake of reproducing? So you can't really have love. Because if there's love, then like you, you it's actually、like, yeah, and competition. Exactly, it's a primal、yeah. thing because I mean、mm -hmm. we, we it's a it's a primal thing like we see it in animals too like people <laughs>、yeah. animals competing for mates and stuff you know so so you gotta condition them to not steal like, yeah to or、cheat. else that'll cause chaos so love causes、exactly. chaos love will cause chaos <laughs> sheesh Ooh. amen. Love of But if、chaos. love is chaos, love is love is the root of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> if love causes chaos, <laughs> give it up. That, that <laughs> and we have no chaos. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty hard though. Like preventing emotions to happen. That's like just a, sounds like a punk rock band. It's just、Your、a robot emo, society.、Man. Yeah, love is chaos. Love is chaos. I'd listen to that song. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's a great title, Ben. <laughs> Honestly, write it down. Write it down. Write it down. Write it Make down. a beat for it. Make a beat. For yeah. It. <laughs> um. But yeah, I don't know. I just man, that would suck though. I feel like then, at first I was gonna say like you control, you like match up people, but like no, people are gonna have 
people if are people like mm-hmm. you're controlling for relationships like exactly um, like the arranged marriages like mm-hmm. not not everybody li- likes that anyway so like mm-hmm. man and then the kids would have to grow up like super like not emotional because they wouldn't grow up with like their um, like a mother or like a, a father because mm-hmm. you would have to like keep them in like a nursery and have like a designated exactly. like nurse to like take care um, of them and then the nurses can't get attached to the kids exactly and then, like, so emotions at all shouldn't be attached and that's that's just a ro- robot society mm-hmm. like a utopia is probably like a video game where you just designate people what to do and there's mm-hmm. no emotion attached you know that's a utopia right there. yeah <laughs> right, so 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 summary of so summary so what so what do we learn today a lot we learned a lot actually <laughs> <laughs> we learned shit <laughs> actually <laughs> wait you said something smart you said something smart you said preventing chaos makes space for more happiness and it's oh. the first thing mm-hmm. towards more happiness it's the first step towards more happiness exactly. to prevent chaos you have to prioritize prioritize preventing chaos first mm-hmm. actually that's like a that you know that's still an argument because technically you could be like oh like but if you're focused on preventing chaos you won't be able to be happy which i don't ah i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i think i think there's a timeline to it because there's you can't prevent chaos like all the time yeah i mean you can Damn, what okay, you know what? so what comes first? <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Alright, you know what? Let us down below let us know down below. What do you think comes first? Promoting happiness or preventing chaos? The egg. Let us know. Let us know. This is a tough <laughs> question. We don't, we don't really know either. So <laughs> exactly. Bro. And let us we, know. Would you want to live in a utopian society? Because I sure as hell wouldn't. But let us yeah, know. I wouldn't. Yes, sir. All right. Thank y'all. For watching the Hot Pop podcast, we appreciate the view. Please leave a like, um, subscribe, comment down below. Turn on that notification button, and remember, stay high. Stay high. high. I'm this brain, and this brain is only this big to think about all of this. To think about the vast emptiness of space. I can reason, but then I think, hey yo.